On today's episode of As the Converter Turns, I have two 10-inch 4L80E converters here, and I thought it was a great opportunity for a little bit of infotainment. Um, the first thing I want to say is that your mother was always right. It's what's inside that counts. The only thing you can see that differentiates this billet converter from this budget converter is the billet steel drive cover and the anti-ballooning. Aside from that, they look like the same thing. And any converter this size is about going to look like the same thing. So I wanted to showcase the quality of our converters so you guys know exactly what you're getting from me if you buy a converter from me. Some of the parts are the same from a billet converter to a stage two converter. The pumps are physically the same. The billet converter has anti-ballooning. The budget converter does not have anti-ballooning. A lot of people get really excited about anti-ballooning I don't ever see anybody get excited about something that I'm pretty proud of, which is the fact that we fully weld and braze our pumps and our turbines. Especially in a budget priced product, this is not something you will always see. I'm proud of the fact that we do it. It's one of the reasons why I have so much faith in this converter. Fully brazing this pump makes for nice rigid fins. These fins become like little stiffening braces for this pump. It makes for a nice rigid pump even though it doesn't have anti-ballooning. So now you'll start seeing threads eventually where people are saying that furnace brazing makes converters stronger and that will be the big flavor of the month that everybody is out there on the internet saying. But anyways, uh, furnace brazing these things makes it nice, strong, and rigid. The differences from there are in the name. Everything in the billet converter is gonna be made out of billet and in the budget converter, it's not going to be made out of billet. And that's where you get that budget price versus the not-so-budget price. Now, the pumps are the same aside from anti-ballooning. The turbines are the same aside from the drive hub. So the turbine support where the input sh shaft splines on the turbine is steel in a budget converter. It's billet in a billet converter. This is stronger than this. If you open this up even more, the lockup clutch in a billet converter is billet. In a budget converter, it's stamped steel. The drive cover, as you can see from the outside, billet steel versus stamped steel. This is a lot stronger and thicker than this. So that's another thing people get excited about anti-ballooning but anti-ballooning only makes something so, so strong if the rest of everything is not strong it doesn't matter i'm very confident in the power handling capabilities of this stage 2 converter it's great up to a point because not everything is made out of billet it's only so strong but i have a lot of faith in how the thing's going to work because we furnace braze the fins in the pump and the turbine something great to do the other thing i want to show you guys are torings and bearings register on the sprags they're not floating in space that's something you didn't even know that happens but in cheap converters you might not see torings and bearings that register correctly like that they'll just be in there between the, the stator and the sprag and the turbine and the pump it's important uh, this is important, especially to me, these being brazed. Uh, that's also another reason why we can warranty these things like we do, because you're really not going to see failures in them unless you really overdo it with it and just buy something better. This is all of this stuff is stronger than this stuff. There's no two ways about it. For something to be stronger, it either has to be bigger or better metallurgy. This is bigger and better metallurgy than this is. This is bigger and better metallurgy than this is. That's a lot of the difference right there. There's a lot of money just in the parts here. And there's a lot of time and money even in getting the, the brazing. It's not something that you're going to see across the board, especially at a budget price. And to be perfectly honest, I've seen billets where they're not brazed. There's either nothing done or maybe they'll tack weld the fins if they're loose. And sometimes they even miss. So not everybody is giving you 
the same level of work for your money. This is our quality. We do this to every converter. It makes them great. These are not ringers. This is somebody's converter that's going together and going out. This is somebody else's converter that's going together and going out. This level of quality is there for everybody.